Hello everyone and welcome to First Kids City Online. I'm Nathan. And I'm Emily. And, and we're, we're in, in the, the studio. studio. We are so excited to worship with you and your entire family today. We'll be praising God together, diving into God's word, and having some fun as well. Now, if you have your bread and juice available for our time of communion, go ahead and get it out and get it ready to go. If you don't have bread and juice, don't worry. Whatever you have in your kitchen will be just fine. You can substitute whatever you have. We will take the Lord's Supper together in just a few minutes. Now let's take a quick look at what we're studying this month in First Kids City. Our theme this month is press play, get in the mix. It's important for us to see ourselves the way God sees us. Every person is loved by God and created in His image. And when we truly believe this, we begin to love like Jesus. At First Kids City, we study a life app each month. And a life app is what God is doing in you to change the world around you. And this month's life app is confidence, learning to see yourself the way God sees you. The world tells us to be so many different things and sometimes it can be overwhelming, but only God can tell us who we truly are. And when we know who we are, we begin to look more like Jesus in the way we love those around us. We have confidence because other people are created in God's image too. So let's say you wanna start serving in your church, but you're a little nervous. You're not sure if you're gonna do a good job, but when you know that God will empower you to serve Him, you don't have to fear. God will strengthen you for whatever He wants you to do. Another big thing we love to do at First Kids City is memorize God's Word. This month, we're memorizing Psalm 27, 13, which says, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Great job. Let's spend some time today with your parents coming up with motions to help you memorize this verse. Now, are you ready for what's next? Get your game face on because it's game time. Hey guys, welcome to the game time. We got an awesome game plan for you today. My name's Grant. And I'm Mitchell. And Mitchell, what's the game? Achoo. Bless you. Now that's the name of the game. Oh. <laughs> Get it because of Kleenexes. Yeah, that makes All sense. All right, so anyways, how you play is you put one hand behind your back and you can only use one hand, but you have one minute to grab as many tissues out of the box as you can. You can only go one at a time. Got it, Grant? I got it. And you guys can play at home too. Just have a box of tissues and an arm and you guys can play along with us. Mitchell, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Come on, Grant. <laughs> Oh, brother. Yo, I'm grabbing your tissues. Don't throw them in my box. Grant. Oh, man. Oh, my arm. You got, the, arm te you got the technique. My arm is kind of hurting, Grant. Ah! You still got more tissues in there. Wait, do I really? Wait, no! What? <laughs> Come on, Grant. Unfair advantage. Oh, man. I call unfair advantage. Will you stop? That was your fault. Oh, I'm done. I still have like half the box left. Get out Grant. All right, well that was game time, guys. Thanks for joining us. If you took any photos or videos, be sure to send them in and you may be able to be in next week's video. And now it's time for worship, so let's get up on our feet and get ready to worship. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to worship. Let's all stand up and get ready to sing and dance together. Let's do it. One word and the dark became light I believe it, I believe it, yeah You spoke my name and my heart came to life I believe it, I believe it, yeah I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it I 
Worshiping with us today. We're going to continue our time of worship by taking communion together. If you don't have your bread and juice ready to go, that's okay. Just go ahead and prepare that now. For thousands of years, God's people have gathered together to take a communion meal. During communion, we must remember to do two things remember and celebrate. On the night before Jesus was arrested, he gathered his disciples together for the Passover meal. But as they were eating, he did something a little out of the ordinary. He took some unleavened bread and broke it and passed it out to all of his friends. Jesus told them the bread was his body and they should eat it in remembrance of him. Then he took a cup and told them this was his blood of the covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sins. This seemed kind of odd, but Jesus was starting a new revolution. On the day when Jewish people gathered to remember and celebrate their escape from slavery at the hand of the Egyptians, Jesus was starting a new day to remember and celebrate. A day when all people would be free from the slavery of sin and death. In just a few short hours, Jesus would be arrested and crucified. He would get the punishment for the sins that we committed. It was a terrible thing, but because of what Jesus did, we no longer have to be separated from God. We are free to live with Him wholly and completely. We remember the life that Jesus led, how He never sinned, His amazing teachings and miracles. We celebrate how He died for our sins and three days later rose again in the resurrection, defeating sin and death forever. And as God's people, we gather together to share this meal as one family united in Christ. If you would like to remember and celebrate Jesus with us today, we invite you to take communion at home right now. One of the most important things you can do to love Jesus is to love God's heart. Here at First Kids, that's just how we talk about prayer. Prayer is simply sharing your heart with God and letting Him share His heart with you. It's kind of like talking to a close friend or trusted relative. Today, we are going to pray the Lord's Prayer. This is a special prayer Jesus taught His disciples to pray. You can read it for yourselves in Matthew 6, 9 through 13. As we pray today, I will say part of the prayer and you can repeat what I just said back to me at home. I encourage you to get into a position of prayer. A lot of times the position of our bodies can impact the position of our hearts. So feel free to get down on your knees, lie face down, or simply sit there and cross fold your hands. All right, are you ready? Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Father in heaven, holy is your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us for our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And all God's kids said, amen. Now, let's get ready to hear a message from God's word. Hey, everybody, I'm Graham. I've always had the dream of becoming a professional singer. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the time. I'm kind of afraid to perform in front of other people, but lately I've been starting to gain confidence. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. I think it might help if I didn't have to perform all alone. Like maybe if I was in a band with a guitar player and someone on the drums and maybe a keyboardist. I think a band is the way to go for me. I wonder how we would all sound together. Two, three, four. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the... Well, despite how that sounded, I actually did feel more confident. So I guess what they say is true. There is strength in numbers or there's confidence in numbers. With the band, you never feel like you're alone. In today's story, we'll hear about three guys who were in a really hot situation, but they didn't have to face it alone. I wonder if my band needs a brass section. No, probably not. See you soon. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Daniel, chapter 3. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon liked to go big. Build me a statue. Of course, your majesty. Granite, marble, <laughs> copper. I'm thinking gold. Gold! Pure gold. Wow! Okay, six feet tall, seven taller, 20 taller, 77 taller, 90. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. We'll need a supersized furnace to smelt that much gold. Then supersize it. Commence the smelting. So the king's craftsmen melted down tons of gold and shaped it into an enormous statue nine feet wide and taller than two and a half telephone poles. They set it just outside the city in the broad plain of Dura. Mmm, such a finely smelted specimen. We must invite everyone to admire my statue. So the king instructed messengers to summon all of his officials. Three of them were Jewish men who had come to Babylon as captives, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It's a royal decree. That I can see. Are you all coming with me? So the three friends arrived at the plain of Dura where all the other officials had gathered. A messenger from the king called out loudly, this is the king's command. When you hear the sound of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes, you must fall down and worship this golden statue. Worship a false god? That's worse than odd. I wouldn't even give it a nod. Oh, and FYI, if you don't do it, you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace. <laughs> Immediately, music began to play. Every single official threw themselves down on the ground except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And let me tell you, their refusal to bow did not go unnoticed. Who do they think they are? I think we should make things hot for them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 
Several officials dusted themselves off and went straight to the king. King Nebuchadnezzar, may you live forever. Thanks. Will do. You told everyone to bow down. As soon as they hear the sounds of the horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. But these Jews you appointed don't serve your gods. They refuse to worship your gold statue. Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. Oh, now I am very angry in a very big way. The king sent for the three friends. Is what I hear about you true? Don't you serve my gods and worship the gold statue I set up? We will not bow. Even when you hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? We refuse to kowtow. Even though you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace? This ends now. Even if we're thrown into a blazing furnace, the one true God will save us. But even if he didn't, we still wouldn't serve your gods or bow down to some golden statue. Uh, that didn't rhyme. Nebuchadnezzar's face burned red as a ripe tomato. <sighs> Make the fire seven times hotter. Tie them up, throw them in. The king's strongest soldiers grabbed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They knotted heavy ropes around the three friends and then shoved them into the roaring flames. The king peered into the blue, hot heart of the flames and then leapt back in surprise. Didn't we throw three men into the fire? And they all deserved it. Look, I see four men walking around untied. The fire hasn't harmed them. The fourth man... Looks like a son of the gods. Sure enough, a fourth figure stood there with the three friends. An angel? Or perhaps Jesus himself? Dumbfounded, the king rushed to the door of the furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you who serve the Most High God, come out! The three friends walked out of the scorching flames, completely unharmed. The royal officials crowded around to see. Their hair isn't singed. Their robes haven't burned. They don't even smell like smoke. King Nebuchadnezzar was so impressed that, as usual, he went big. May the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. He has sent his angel and saved his servants who trusted in him. No other God can save people this way. So, I'm giving an order about the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No one may say anything against him. Well, what happens if somebody does? Well, they'll be snipped in tiny pieces and their homes turned into piles of trash. Go God! god. Go, go God! Go, go, go God! Go God! Go God! Go, go, go God! The king even honored Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and gave them higher positions in the kingdom. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had a ton of confidence, didn't they? They stood for what was right even when they knew what was at stake. And they stood together. All three were thrown into the fiery furnace and miraculously they weren't alone. God was in there with them the whole time. That's how it is with us too. God is always with us. In fact, after Jesus died and came back to life, one of the last things he said to his disciples was this. You can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. So that means when you have to do something scary, God is with you. When you feel like you're too tired to move, God is with you. When you need strength, God is with you. And when you're with a band of friends who know you and care about you, God is also there with you. God loves you so much and he won't let you face this life alone. So here's the one thing to remember today. Trust that God is always with you. Remind yourself when you're feeling less than confident that you are never alone. Well, I should probably get in some practice with my band. Didn't sound very good earlier. I think we need a little Band-Aid. Get it? Band-Aid? I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining us on First Kids City Online. You're always welcome to join us for our live services every Sunday at 9.30 or 11 a.m. We'd love to hear from you. And if you have any great pictures or videos of your family participating in worship or game time, please send them to us here. Fall is right around the corner. Be sure to come to our midweek this year. 
Our kickoff event is August 18th at First Church. Click the link in the description to see what's happening and parents can follow us on Instagram or on Facebook. And finally, make sure to like and share this video with your friends. And that's all we got for today. So we'll see you next time on First Kids City Online.